going through the historic town of Jerome. A lot of cool historic buildings. And this is really cool. That's a cool bike. It just winds through the mountains here and they built up off the land on the hills. going back down this was at 5,000 feet so I slept around probably six 6,500 last night in the snow which was cool and then coming back down to cottonwood we should get out of a lot of this stuff the historic houses here are crazy in the valley where we started yesterday. Billion dollar copper camp. March 1899. Look at that. And there's like this Huge. My old stuff from history. It's awesome. like we're going back down pretty good in elevation. We're at Clarkdale 3545. Man, we went down. So you gotta get through Clarkdale, I guess, to get to Cottonwood. Oh, it's maybe it's Old Town Cottonwood. I'm not really sure. Gas station on the corner. Well, we got the Forerunner washed. I figured out why the uh, car wash at the in Sedona went as long as it did, and I was able to wash my Forerunner as well. Apparently, when you swipe your card, you've got to hit the green button uh, when you're finished. Otherwise, it just keeps going. So that dude's gonna have a charge on his credit card for probably uh, 15 or 20 bucks, if I had to guess, or more. Sorry, man. So, I paid attention to mine, but it's still probably gonna cost me five or 10 bucks. Um, but there was enough mud on this thing, it had to come off, so I don't mind it. All right, well, let's get heading somewhere. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. So after freezing my butt off, washing the Forerunner, I decided to come back to Planet Fitness, get a free shower again. So I do pay a monthly subscription for Planet Fitness. So technically it's not free, 
but they don't care if I come in and out of here 10 days in a row. Not that I'll be here 10 days in a row, but I just did it yesterday and today. And man, does it feel good to get showers every day. But at the same time, it's not always feasible. So I'm gonna go over here to Safeway and see if I can find some of those tuna fish packs um, for lunches. And then I'm moving on to go get a haircut possibly. We'll see how that goes. There's a great clips here in town. And then I'm probably gonna travel a little bit further north because the weather looks like it's gonna change a day early. So I may be able to uh, get up on Humphreys uh, on Saturday instead of Sunday and today's Tuesday. So uh, I'm gonna move north a little bit instead of south and camp out towards Sedona area tonight. And then um, probably just be a tourist in Sedona for another day and then be up at the base of Mount Humphreys for Saturday morning. That's the goal at the moment. We'll see how it goes. Catch you guys in a little bit. Got a haircut. <clears throat> it's cold outside. It's a little rainy still. Went in the fries, aka Kroger. Just got a couple more things for lunch items. But <clears throat> other than that, it's been pretty good. Just hate lunch. And I'm gonna put you guys right here on this little holder thingy. There we go. So looking at traveling north, like I was saying <clears throat> earlier, I think. I'm not really sure. And I'm gonna start making my way back up towards Flagstaff. <sighs> because I think the weather is gonna be good Saturday instead of Sunday. So that gives me Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if I do a little bit today, stay close around Sedona, and then Thursday night, stay maybe like north of Sedona, and then Friday, stay um, at the trailhead to hike Humphreys. That way Saturday morning I'll wake up <clears throat> ready to go. So we can do this we got it it's just waiting on the weather to change So back here above Red Rock State Park, there's the Forerunner. Just checking out the views one last time before I go further north because I won't be back down here. Next place after this will be Grand Canyon. I'm sure the Grand Canyon is going to be just as nice as this. So a little bit of snow sleet going on right now. Let's see it hitting the jacket there. But it's kind of cold too. That's fine. I need to be in the cold because I'm going to be hiking here probably Saturday. And the temperature is supposed to be, I think, eight degrees. So that means as I go up in elevation, 
on the mountain, it's gonna go down to probably like zero, negative 10, depending on if it's windy or not, who knows. But I'm ready for it, a few more days. So I'm gonna find somewhere for tonight up, up in this area. And then tomorrow, make it up further north. town of Sedona. It's a nice little town. Everything's really expensive, but they have a lot of cool stuff. A lot of tourism. All these people. Looks like I'm 28 miles away from Flagstaff now. See if we can go find somewhere for the night. So I was going to go north of Sedona and stay, but it's in a canyon and it's snowing up there. So I figured there's not much to, not much places to park for overnight. So also was going to be a tourist in the little town of Sedona, but it looks miserable getting out and walking around that little city in the pouring rain and the cold. So decided to go to an area that I know just from being down here. It's not too far away. And I'll uh, stay there tonight, cook a cook a meal out of the Forerunner and relax. Sounds good to me. And then tomorrow, check the weather, see what it looks like. May go up into the snow and play around, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Tonight I am trying some taco skillet type stuff. We got some onions and peppers and mushrooms in here. So we'll see how that turns out. It smells good. I just put some olive oil in there and some water. Let it boil. So I mean it's not exactly, or more like simmer. It's not exactly going to be on a skillet obviously, but... I think I can make it taste pretty close and get some um, avocados and some pico. Fiesta blend cheese, some chips, and uh, tortillas here. Uh, we're going to try to have ourselves a good Mexican food dinner, but we'll see how it turns out. All right, well, this stuff's a little bit spicier than I would like it to be, but I think we can make it work. The avocados kind of super fresh but that's okay too this stuff looks like it's going to be pretty good with some pico and everything on it so <clears throat> let's uh throw that down it's still a little warm look at that veggie veggie style <clears throat> Cool. And then just add some pico and some cheese. <clears throat> and if you have any salsa, which I have salsa, but I don't think I'm going to add it to this one. But uh, let's see how it is. Well, I'd probably rate it 10 out of 10 on messiness. But the sauce here, kind of spicy, but wasn't bad. Maybe a 6.5 out of 10. And I'm really only giving it that score because... I mean, yeah, it was spicy and kind of tingy, but the, the actual flavor of it, though, it's just lacking. Could have had a lot more. I should have seasoned it while it was inside the uh, jet boil, but that's all right. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to call it here tonight and see you guys tomorrow. Later.